Guys, today is the day. The garage is done, as you guys can see, which I'm gonna give you guys a tour shortly, so stay tuned for that video. But um, I just received Adam's uh, graphene ceramic coating in the mail today. And I also received Turtle Wax's uh, Hybrid Solutions One Step Compound and Polish. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of all this today. We're gonna prep the car, we're gonna get it ready, and then I'm just gonna show you guys my process. Stay tuned. All right, so a little bit of the stuff that we're gonna be using today, just so you guys get an idea of my process. Um, we're using Chemical Guys V07 High Gloss Car Wash Soap, and that's just to get all the contaminants off the vehicle. While we're washing the car, we also have a clay bar mitt. So this is actually very neat. This, in my opinion, is a lot better than using an actual clay bar because it's just a lot easier, faster, um, and this is all something that you just basically do while you're rinsing down the car with soap. As long as your car is completely um, covered in soap and lubricated, you should be able to use this fine with no issues. Then we're gonna go ahead and use a decontamination um, spray from Chemical Guys. Once that is done and the car is dried, we will also go ahead and put Adam Surface Prep. This just removes any kind of waxes or anything that's left behind. Then we'll go ahead and do the one step one and done compound. I've decided to go with the light medium polishing pad um, just because this you can either use it as a polish or a compound depending on the pad that you use. My vehicle is fairly new so I've already done a one step before so it's really not going to need any kind of um, aggressive polishing or buffing so we're going to go ahead and go with this one. Once we have that complete, we're going to use that again just to make sure we remove any kind of uh, surface contaminants. And then we go ahead and start putting the graphene coating. All right, so right now, basically what I'm going to go ahead and do is just get the car ready to wash. I'm going to get my pressure washer out with the foam cannon, and then we're going to just spray the whole car down. And that's where I'm going to use the clay bar mitt and just take off any contaminants on the surface of the vehicle. And then, yeah. All right guys, it's freaking hot, it's Florida. It's uh, probably like 85 degrees right now. So the car's already nicely detailed, um, clean. I went ahead and decontaminated as well. So the next step that we're gonna go ahead and start is the polishing. So, um, like I mentioned before, this is um, Hybrid Solutions, uh, Turtle Wax's new uh, graphene one and done compound. This is a polished slash compound, so depending how aggressive you wanna go and get with the cut, you're just gonna have to change the pad. In my case, I'm gonna go with the light medium polishing pad since I don't have any swirls like that. Um, and if I do, this will remove any of the small ones that I might have. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and start that now. We're gonna go ahead and polish it. Um, in the meantime, I'll have you guys just watching. Um, this shouldn't take me too long just for the fact that I've already done this in the past recently. So this is more of just like a polishing and then getting it ready for the graphene. So, all right guys, let's start it.
so we're halfway done with the vehicle and so far there's very 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 minor scratches on the vehicle and they are going away with this one step compound and polish I definitely recommend it to anybody who's thinking about getting it so far it is very good Man, that was a workout. Um, so the next thing that I'm gonna be working on is um, just prepping the surface. Adams went ahead and actually provided a surface prep spray. And then basically this, you just spray it on top of, then you just spray this on top of the panels and then you wipe with one of the fibers, uh, microfibers that they included. Um, and you just do it to the whole car, make sure there's no residue left of the, compound or the polish so it's very simple just spray it and then just wipe it off but yeah so I just spent like I think it was like a total of polishing the whole car maybe like three hours yeah I think it was like two two hours to three hours um, it's a workout. Now I see why detailers charge an arm and a leg for this because it is a lot of hours that goes into it if you want it done correctly. Um, but luckily, doing the graphene is very simple, straightforward, um, and I'll show you guys once I start the process, but let me just go ahead and finish this and then we'll get to the fun stuff. So this is the microfiber block that comes included in your kit. You get two of these, but you're most likely only gonna need one. Now, a little goes a long way with this. So all you gotta do is just put a little strip down the middle for each time that you're gonna go ahead and knock out a three by three panel and then reapply again and do the next one. You also get, it's almost like a microfiber suede uh, towel. This is gonna be so that you can buff it out and level it right after it dries and it gives you the rainbow effect. So let's go ahead and start it up. You have the side that has a seam. Let's use that as the back. So you're gonna grab a little bit and just apply some straight down like that. That's enough. All right, so as you guys can see, the vehicle is complete. And it looks and feels phenomenal. So, so for anybody who's wondering if you should go ahead and invest into doing graphene coating or ceramic coating, this is how I explain it to people. If you're invested into your vehicle and you like your car looking nice and you like to protect the paint, then yes, definitely go ahead and do this. But if you're somebody who just uses your vehicle for point A, point B type of commute and you really don't care if it has all the pollen, all the dust, all the bug splatter, any bird crap on it, whatever it is, and don't do it. Because honestly, it's a lot of work. And if you're not doing it yourself, I'm sure you're gonna be paying a pretty penny. So with that being said, guys, I definitely recommend it. Um, I'm giving it still one more day before it really cures, before I do any kind of water testing on it. But so far, it looks amazing. It just shines so deep and Mind you, it's a white car. If this was black, I'm sure it would look even better. But the car looks spectacular, so yes. All right, guys, thank you again for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and keep catching my videos if you wanna see more of the projects that I will be doing with the Supra. I also have a couple more shorts that I've worked on, cinematic shorts of vehicles, so keep an eye out for those. And then until next time, guys, peace.